Hello again. <clears throat> Morning, brothers and sisters, friends, and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, <clears throat> the Lord's just put a few things on my heart I wanted to share with you. And um, please also, if the Lord puts something on your heart, and you and you want to share it in video, please do. Um, hallelujah and amen. So yes, Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Lord, become humbly before your throne of mercy and grace. And we thank you, Father, that where there was a division and a separation, you sent your only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Father, we thank you that we are the sons of God. One bloodline, one genetic, we are connected to you, Father. There is no distance between us, Lord. For where there was, your Son shed his blood. And has reunited us back to you, Father. So where we were prodigal sons, we are now back home under our Father's wings. So Father, we glory in thee, O oh God, and we thank you for everything. We thank you because we are chosen. We thank you because we are called. We thank you, Father, because you know the plans for our lives of good and not evil. We thank you that even before the foundations of the earth, you know us by name. We thank you, Lord, for everything, for the weather, for all your creation, Father. We thank you for health, for strength, for families, for finances, for food, for clothing, for everything you've provided for, provided for us, Father, for jobs, friends, relatives, and loved ones. Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Father, who is like unto thee? Who can compare to thee? There is none like unto thee, for you are worthy to be glorified and magnified. Blessed be your holy name. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Father, we lift before you now. Israel, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And we thank you, Lord, for the salvation of Jerusalem. We thank you, Father, for breaking down the religious barriers in their hearts and reuniting them to yourselves. Father, we pray a blessing upon them. We bless them. We bless them. You said you will bless those who bless them, curse those who curse them. We bless them indeed. We pray, Father, for your continuous wall and hedge of protection around them. And Father, we thank you. No weapon formed against Israel shall prosper. Lord God Almighty, Father, yes, Lord, the word and the information that you released to us through your faithful servant. Elizabeth, Father, we just lift these nations before you, Father. <coughs> And we ask, Lord, that you will circumcise their hearts, O oh God. Father, we pray, Lord God Almighty, that you will circumcise their hearts. Lord, touch their hearts. Touch the hearts of these, Father, who are constantly rebelling against thee, O oh God Almighty. Who are constantly rebelling against you, O oh God. That now you will have to use different ways and measures to capture their attention. That they will know you love them. You want their attention, O oh Father. We cry. We cry with one voice unto thee, O oh Holy Father. O oh Holy Father, have mercy, O oh God Almighty. Have mercy on them. Father, touch their hearts, O oh God Almighty. Send your children, Father, into these countries. Father, release, Father God, an invasion of who you are into their hearts and into their lives, O oh God. Father, the word of God is quick and sharper than any two edges, so pierce it to divide in its under the bone and the marrow. Lord, send people that will speak with the sword in their mouth, Father, that will pierce their hearts and bring them to repentance. Oh God, oh God, oh God, we just lift a cry before you over these nations, oh Father, and we pray, we pray, Father God, that their hearts, that their hearts might be softened, that their hearts might turn to you, Father. 
We pray, O oh God, that they will turn away from the idolatry and the different ways of worshipping and know that you are the only true and living God. You are the God of Isaac, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. You are the I am that I am. The only living God. You're the God who answers by fire. Fire! Fire, we declare. Fire! So, Father, we pray, Lord, that, that your fire, your fire, Father, will consume their hearts and melt and soften their hearts unto repentance, O God Almighty. That they will be spared, Father God Almighty, from the wrath, for the wrath of rebelling and turning their backs against thee constantly. O Father, send your fire to burn their hearts, O Father. Burn off the hardness and restore the softness that all of them, Father God Almighty, might be saved and their nations. Father, we commit the leaders of these countries into your hands and we pray, Lord, touch the hearts of the leaders, Father. Break down the walls of wickedness and division, Father. Give them a revelation of your spirit, of your love, of the cross. Give them a revelation of the cross, Father God. Give them a visitation of the cross, O God. Remind them, Jesus, you shed your blood for them, Lord God Almighty. Father, more and more impress it upon their hearts, O God Almighty, that they would turn from their ways. Yes, Lord. Father, into thy hands we commit our prayers. And as the prayers continue to ascend, Lord, give us strategy and give us direction as we flow in the prophetic, Father, as we declare your word, as we prophesy, as we speak decrees, O oh God. Show us, each and every one of us here individually, what our place and assignment is and what you have called us and how you have called us to take part into the move of your spirit in one flow, in one flesh, in one blood, in one unity, for the body of Christ is whole. Many members working to achieve one goal. So Father, into thy hands I commit the prayer on our behalf and on every person in this group behalf. Father, we lift our prayers before you and we thank you, Father, because you hear us always. And because you hear us always, Lord, we know our prayers are answered. Thank you, Father, for receiving them right now as sweet-smelling incense. Glory to God and hallelujah. Right. Shikarabasa bububusi. Woo! You know, um, this morning, I... No, not this morning, but well, just about afternoon, a bit before. I looked up and I saw a cloud in the house. So a cloud to the roof in, 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 in my home. A low cloud, a low mist. A low mist just covering the roof, just covering the roof. Just covering the entire roof. And, and guys, um, you know, this is the move of God's spirit. Oh, she, the prayer, the, oh, she, karabase. Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, she karabase. Thank you, Jesus. The fire and the presence of God is awesome. Lord, we thank you, Father. We, oh, she, oh, she karabase. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can't even get the book up in time today, so let me just let the Lord go with his flow, what he's doing. So, Father, let this anointing pass right through the screen. Father, intensive. Intensify. Oh, she carabasi. Mama, mama, se kokoro, bobo se carabahi. Rabababa se he. Rabababa se koi. Father, intensify it now that they may give each and every person now. Woo! She caraba. Fire in Jesus' name. Fire in Jesus' name. Fire. In Jesus' name, Lord. Let them feel your presence now, Lord. May they, your glory. Overwhelm every home now with your presence beside 
May every home be saturated with your holy presence now, Father, that they will know your presence is with them. Ooh. Father, that they may know your presence is with them, Lord, that they may see, oh, she, mama, ma, sekoi, you are with them. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. The presence of God is awesome here. Lord, should I continue this video or, or just leave it here? Oh, she Right. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Lord, more, more, more of your fire. More of your presence. Lord, more of your presence, Father. Right, I, I, um, First Corinthians chapter 12 and verses 12. And, um, thank you, Jesus. Woo! God, you're awesome. You are awesome. You're awesome. Oh, Father, more, more. Bring it back, Lord. Bring it back, Lord. More, more, Jesus. More, more, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Father. First Corinthians chapter 12, 12. Right, this is what it says. For as the body is one, and have many members, and all the members of that body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. So, this verse is saying, that the body has many members, arms, legs, eyes, nose, everything, but all are working to achieve that one goal. So we're here from different denominations led by the Spirit of God. And um, I felt the Lord was saying, as we, as we advance in unity and love and unity, this is what he's coming back for, his perfect bride. He's coming back for the perfect bride. You know, brothers and sisters in the Lord working in one unity, regardless of um, denomination, you know? Because Jesus didn't die for denomination, he died for relationship, to a relationship back to us, to the Father, not a denomination. You know, but he's coming for one, one body united in love and in harmony. So as we participate in this voice, in your prophetic voices, by the Spirit of the Lord, I believe that we'll be led, we will know what part we're playing in it, <clears throat> what part the Lord wants us to, to advance in as the prophecies come up. Um, we will flow in one flow of God's Spirit in unity and in harmony as the Holy Spirit leads us. Wow, this, this video is going to be quick today. <clears throat> and um, there's a Bible verse here that I believe is very prophetic. Two, two. The other one is 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verses 20. It's, 20, further down that same um, chapter, 20, says, 1 Corinthians 12, verses 20, says, But now are there many members, but yet one body. Notice, one mem many members, one body. And the prophetic in that is that, I believe this is where, as the Lord comes, the barriers of denomination are going to be break, broken down. The barriers of denominations will come to naught, to nothing. Now we know that there are some denominations that aren't in Christ Jesus. We're not talking about these, 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 um, these strange things. We're talking about, you know, these denominations that belong to Christ. That has been in different little boxes, different little um, pockets. But because there's many members, notice one body. 
I believe the prophetic in this is that as the Lord comes, he's going to melt down the barriers. He's going to break down the walls in the Catholic Church. <clears throat> and the body of Christ are going to be flowing on one accord. It's not going to make a difference if you're Pentecostal, if you're Baptist, if you're, if you're Methodist, if you're Catholic. If you're Seventh-day Adventist, he, that verse prophetically is saying that he's come up, that his members are going to be in one body, one accord, and one accord is not going to be this division and separation. Yes, people might still see them as different denominations, but in the spirit, it will be one accord, it will be one body. One movement of God's children in one harmony, in love, unity, togetherness, peace, and the joy of the Lord, waiting and welcoming our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Just to think about it, put tears in my heart, waiting to see Yeshua HaMashiach return for his beautiful, spotless, gorgeous bride so prophetically first corinthians 12 20 is the breaking down that verse is breaking down the barriers of denomination into the one body he's coming for this morning as i was praying and asking the lord what he want me to say today he appeared to me in a vision like this and said look am i whole am i one body Am I separated in a vision? No, good. This is what I am returning for. One body. One body in him. One. <clears throat> no separation. No, one body. The body of Christ. So guys, I'm praying on that verse. I'll repeat it one more time. 1 Corinthians 12, 20. And let the Lord expand in Revelation. And the other one is Psalm 100, I think is very prophetic also, because number one, it, it tells you how to get into the presence of the Lord, and into, okay, I'll pull it up here, <clears throat> Psalm 100 tells us, <clears throat> make a joyful noise unto the Lord, <clears throat> excuse me. On, unto the Lord all ye lands <clears throat> serve the Lord with gladness come before his presence with singing know ye that the Lord he is God it is he that have made us and not we ourselves we are his people and the sheep of his pasture enter into his gates with thanksgiving and now into his gates with thanksgiving into the gates and into his courts with praise <clears throat> and remember <clears throat> sorry from <clears throat> from the Old Testament it's gone now <laughs> From the Old Testament, um, what the tabernacle meant, you know. Be thankful unto him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is ever his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Right now, when we break down Psalm one hundred, and we marry that verse with First Corinthians twelve twenty, we get a prophetic move that. As the Lord returns for his beautiful bride, we will be praising him in one song. We will be worshiping him in one song. We will all enter in together the gates with thanksgiving and end together into his courts with praise. So when you marry these two verses, study them carefully when you have time and get revelation on it. And you'll see how we'll just be praising the Lord with one song. And as we know, prayers and worship is the highest form of warfare. So as the body of Christ is being prepared and as we form now into one body 
and the high praise is just coming up, just praising our Lord in one accord as we enter in together as one people, as one bloodline in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> we will see the beautiful return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because the warfare, as we enter in with such a high praise in one unity and in one formation, no, there's no enemy, nothing that can, that can stand against it. There will be a great cry and the Jewish people are starting to do it already. Some of them, blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. He said he will not return to their shout. Blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. And some of them are starting to do that already. So what we're going to see is a great unity in the spirit. In the spirit as we enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with prayer. We will see the movement. The prophetic movement. And. This worship bit in Psalm, one, Psalm 100. Tells you to. Imagine when, when we come to heaven. We will be just worshipping. And praising him. And glorifying him. Forevermore. 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 <coughs> so. That was more or less with a short video today that the Lord um, put on my heart. A prophetic move of the body being made one, the divisions coming down, one in Christ Jesus, one body, and that we will all march forward, march forth in one song into his gates and we will step in unity. Study this, there's two steps. We'll be stepping like this into his gates, we found thanksgiving. Oh, you know, and into his courts with praise. Oh, we'll be stepping in one unity, in one step, in one step. Oh, yes, and advancing in one unity. So, Father, we thank you for the word today. Who she called say? And I just pray, Father, as you minister to them, that they, you will open our hearts, all of us, and our eyes, that we may see what. And hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to us. And um, this prophetic moves in the Spirit. Have you noticed too when you go to places, for example, when many uh, different denominations come together like this. Someone visiting from town is, a, is a, like a worship, praise and worship and meeting. How sweet the fellowship is. People from all kinds of different denominations, they just come and worship and praise the Lord in one sweet voice, in one sweet accord. That's what it's going to be throughout the whole body of Christ. So yes, Psalm 100, 1 Corinthians 12, 20, are part, just a part of God's end time prophetic move for his church for the spotless bride that he is returning for so yes holy spirit precious lord would you have me to say anything else she carabasa bobobose carabasa bobobose rababasa carabasa bobobose and god is a spirit and we must worship him in spirit and in truth i believe in spirit and in truth means in spirit means we must worship him in the spirit realm Many people have different versions, but I believe it means we must worship him in spirit. In one spirit and in truth, in the spirit realm. Because when you worship, you enter into the spirit realm. You know, there are many things in the Bible that we need to really ask God to give us the revelation. And revelation comes by relationship, you know, and forward and backward with the Lord. That he can show you some things. That um, people, ooh, ooh, I've never seen that before. But yes, he's, he's revealing that teaching every one of us now. So um, as we worship, again, and we take Psalm 100, 
And I believe for those at home, you know, taking 10, 15, 20 minutes to worship in the formation of Psalm 100, we too are going to have many throne room encounters. And I believe there's a few more here too who's going to, along with um, one sister who's on board already, receiving this intense information from the throne room. There are a few others that's going to join and partake in that. Because um, worshippers, 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 worshippers. Um, yes. Often many worship leaders are very prophetic and many worship leaders are prophets and prophetess and um, I'm not sure they even know it. Because the nine seers in the Bible, nine seers, who were seers were prophets. If you study carefully, they were worship leaders. They were worship leaders. They worshipped. Oh, yes. Worship leaders often, often, often has a revelation that... Hey, hey. Yep. Because as they enter in Psalm 100... And they're worshipping God with this hyper. Lots of revelation worship leaders have. So that's why part of this movement too of God's spirit. Is as we bring up the song and the music. As we worship him. He's going to keep flooding revelation. He's going to keep flooding. As we enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. He's going to keep flooding the revelation and knowledge. And the understanding of God. So. God bless you indeed. I hope this video um, will be a blessing to all of us. Again, as I said, I will watch it over myself to hear again what the Lord is actually saying. You know, participate also myself. And um, remember, we stay in love. We stay in unity. And... Um, because the enemy's time is short. And I notice on the video, it looks like I'm looking straight. But when I watch it, I'm often looking at the side. It's because the camera is here to my left. And I, I more or less don't want to sit like that all the time looking at the camera. So, you know, hey, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we thank God that we, that we are able to do videos. So yes, Lord, Holy Father, your will be done, not mine. And Lord... Thank you, Jesus. So, Father, we pray for those right now, Father, who are weak in the body of Christ. We pray for those, Father, who the um, who are crying out for strength. Lord, we pray for those throughout the entire body of Christ in every church, every nation, every town. We pray, Father, for those who are backslidden. Father, we pray that you will bring them back to yourselves. Because, Father, your hand is not short. That you cannot save nor your ear heavy. That you cannot hear. So we pray healing, deliverance, restoration, blessing, increase for the entire church, for the entire body, Father God. Because a body that is sick takes long to recover. So, Father, we thank you for healing your body and bringing it to wholeness, into that spotless bride. In Jesus' name, and amen. I love you, brothers and sisters. And, uh, you know, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Right at the end. Okay, God bless you indeed. May the peace of God be with you now and forevermore. And I greet you with a holy kiss and a hug in the spirit in Christ Jesus. And may we, rem may we remember to continuously walk in love. And remember it is not about us. It is not about how we feel. Because I even declare to the Lord that I, I don't even have a right to get mad. 
be angry about sin now could be taken out of contents because um, anger could lead can lead to certain things which we won't go into because you know but um I believe to be angry and sin not often refers to righteous anger like same sex marriages like um Muslim Brotherhood trying to convert Christians that's where the anger should be focused on these things the laws the government is trying to make against Christians you know so uh, we need a revelation of that verse too because I think that verse has been misconstrued and um, you know put in the wrong contents because if I am supposed to deny myself notice pick up my cross and follow Jesus so if I'm supposed to deny myself but I'm angry in the things that's happening in my personal life of course sin can creep in very easy so yes again love for God is love 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 and a platform of love forms unity oneness wholeness and God is doing it now as we speak he's breaking down the walls tearing down the partitions refurbishing Mending, bringing the body as one. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and establish thee in his shalom, which means nothing missing, nothing broken, total wholeness. From the crowns of your head to the soles of your feet. Wholeness in your finances. Wholeness also in your body, in your families, in your marriages, in your daily lives, in your cars, in your bicycles, in your scooters. Wholeness in everything you are, everything you possess. God is bringing and is bestowing wholeness upon you in Jesus' name. Amen.